Learning target two is interpret the characteristics of a recursive routine in terms of a context. So in the previous video, you saw some examples of recursive routines. Uh, one of those examples was um, an example with an elevator. Um, and it had different floor numbers um, and then the height above ground as you go to a different floor. So the example here is you walk into an elevator in the basement of a building its control plan panel displays zero for the floor number. And as you go up each floor, the number increases on the display by one. Um, the elevator rises 13 feet then each time you go up a floor. Um, so this graph here shows how you start down here at floor zero um, in the basement below ground level. You go up a floor and you go up 13 feet. You go up another floor, you go up 13 more feet. Okay. So this is a recursive relationship. So here then, if you are going to write a recursive routine that represents the height of the floors, we start down here at floor zero below ground in the basement. We start at negative four feet because we are in the basement. So we'll have a start of negative four. And then each time you go up a floor, you go up 13 feet. So the next piece of our recursive routine then would be add 13. Okay, so start at negative 4 and add 13 for each floor that you go up. And when you write a recursive routine, these are the two pieces that you need. Where you start and what happens after that. Okay. So what is the real world meaning of the numbers in the routine? This start at negative 4, again, means that we're starting in the basement at negative 4 feet. So we start 4 feet below ground level. The add 13 then means that for each one floor we go up, we go up 13 more feet. So the add 13 means for each floor, we rise 13 feet. Okay. How are these numbers in the routine represented in the graph then? This number over here that's already circled. This is our start point. Okay, so our start is 0, comma, negative 4, the 0th floor, and it's 4 feet below ground. Then for each one floor that we go up, the height increases by 11. So as x increases by 1, y increases, or the height, oops, increases by 13. Okay. Um, and this is, this is what's called the linear relationship. Okay, a linear relationship is one that you can represent with a straight line graph. So if you look back at this one, those points on this graph do indeed make a straight line. So it's linear. It's also characterized by a constant rate of change. So in the previous example there, we had add 13, and that was for each floor. So for each one floor that you go up, you go up 13 more feet. And so it has a constant rate of change. All right. So for next time, um, we'd like you to look at this graph on the left. Um, it models the, a student's distance from class over time. So the distance starts up here. That's how far they are from class. Then over time, what happens to their distance? So write a recursive routine that represents that. Um, tell me what it means in, in terms of the real world context. And then how are these numbers represented in the graph? Where do you see each piece of the recursive routine?